Hola, ¿qué tal? This is Laurita Tejado reporting live from Spanish Size 2015, and I am joined now by Oscar Mesa of mm -hmm. Sprint. Yes. And you are the manager of Hispanic Communications for Sprint. Yes. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your role for Sprint? Well, I manage all of the public relations uh, uh, for the Hispanic community for Sprint, mm -hmm. and it's uh, prepaid brands, which is Boost Mobile, Assurance Wireless, Virgin Mobile and uh, missing one, but uh, um, you know we uh, and Sprint pre prepaid, and yes. what I do is basically I'm the link between you know the community and Sprint, and so Absolutely. we're having uh, you know a presence here at his fantasize that we thought that it was a, a very um, a good way to get our message out, and it's a it's you know his fantasize has been around. You know, for for a mm -hmm. while, and then oh, yes. I know I have known Manny since the years, you know, 2000 or something like that. So I know I know the work that he has done and how important it is to, you know, um, be a tool for the community to get our word out. So, and that's a nice segue. I mean, what exactly does it mean for the Sprint brand to be at Hispanicize? What are you looking to do here? What we're looking to do is to spread the word about. Um, you know, being part of the community. We always have to give back and we have to spread what we're doing. You know, uh, our new CEO, yes. uh, he's, uh, he's from Bolivia. He's a Latino. He's an immigrant. Um, Marcelo, from, Marcelo Claure. Marcelo Claure. And uh, he's from Bolivia and he started, um, basically he came to Boston College, got a degree, went back to his native Bolivia and worked for the uh, football team that he, he was very a fan of, uh, very passionate. And so he decided to come back to the U.S. and, and start a business. So he applied for um, a job, um, I think in the stock market, you know, um, and they asked him, hey, do you have a cell phone? And they, he <laughs> said, no. So he left the interview wow. and went to get a cell phone and he started talking to the owner of the, of the place. And what happened was that uh, the owner of the place told him, hey, I don't want to do this anymore. Mm -hmm. And so he said, well, let me take over. And he took over. And he didn't have a cell phone, and he took over, ended up taking over the, the, the cell phone the store. shop. Yeah. That's, so, that's an incredible it, story. It is. And, and, and here's the message. You know, as a Latino immigrant, yes. he's not asking for favors. He just wanted an opportunity. Right. And that's what we do. And that's what Sprint is talking about. You know, exactly. people need an opportunity to to you know to become something. So he got an opportunity to um, uh, start selling phones out of the trunk of his car, basically. And he saw an aid of distribution. You know, he was having problems, so he started distributing phones and right. saw an edge. And from there, he 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 developed a small company in Boston, and then he moved to Miami to. Uh, star bright star and I'm, I don't want to make this story long but uh, at the end of the day you know last year before he sold the company to SoftBank who owns Sprint right Sprint right now yes. he um, had offices in 150 countries wow. okay and his sales were over 14 billion dollars so he started from nothing you know to not have from not having a cell phone from to not having a cell phone to finding an opportunity and what a get, great story of somebody who came in, you know, was not asking for favors, he just wanted an opportunity. Definitely a, a Latino success story. And absolutely. And now he, you know, remember that I talked to you about the, the football team yes. that he went to work for? He bought it. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. And he owns it. He owns the Bolivar football team. Bolivar, they, the they were team. just yes. campeones, wow. you know, in Bolivia. So. Uh, it's an awesome story. He's a very nice guy. Uh, you know, uh, when you meet him, it's just very personable. Yeah. He's never forgotten where he came from. And he said, I want to win the Hispanic market because I know how, work, how hard we work. And I, wa well, I want to give him the tools and have a yes. plans that they can afford. And so he's instituted, he's, he brought the Latino spin. To, to spread and we're all embracing it and, and it's a sense of pride for all of us as yes. Latinos working there and for for you know all of the employees at Sprint 
because um, it, you know it just re-energized the company. So it's awesome. That's that's incredible. What an yeah. incredible story to go yeah. from zero to sixty like that. Absolutely. And you mentioned that he's never forgotten his roots. And to that end, uh, could you talk to me about what Sprint is doing? to reach out and and you know pay it forward to Absolutely. the the Hispanic community and mm -hmm. and to and to really millennials because millennials That's the are future. a key they're the future and uh -huh. investing in millennials yeah, is really absolutely. investing in the future so can you talk Two to me things, about what they're doing you know i think millennials and moms you know moms are the cfo's at home now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, you know, it's no longer the macho attitude, I handle Definitely. the money, yo soy el mejor, no. You know, moms are doing everything. They're making financial decisions. Yes. They're telling you what to do, what company to have, you know, all this stuff. So They decide then, where the money goes. Yeah, absolutely. But some of them, they don't have the means to get their kids, um, you know, mm -hmm. a chance, an opportunity. Yes. So. Sprint saw, uh, saw an opportunity to partner up with Aspira, an organization here in Miami, and they're nationwide, but you know, they have a really nice program where they mentor and instruct kids that uh, they want to do something with their lives. And so we saw it as an, as an opportunity to, to partner up with the organization and, and ask them, hey, what can we do? Exactly. And they, so they chose 40 kids, and what Sprint did is we provided devices to the mm -hmm. kids, some Samsung Note 4s, and Samsung saw the opportunity and jumped in right away, and they say, we want to be part of it, because this is this is something, this is the future. And some of them could wound up working for Samsung, you know, you never yeah. know, so they, you know, they build be, a brand, you know. One of them <laughs> might end up as the C CEO of a, of a mobile company. Yeah. Just like Marcelo is, <laughs> exactly. so it is. It is a, a great opportunity. So, um, so we got those kids in today, and they didn't know they were gonna get a device. They didn't know what what, what they were expecting. Um, you know, a, Denise told me, you know, who who works with me uh, with this endeavor, told me that some of the kids that live here in Miami never been to the beach. They never seen it. So and they, they never, live here. And they live here. It's in so their backyard. It's their backyard. So what a great opportunity. What a great story. The kids were excited. And, mm -hmm. and then we asked them, hey, what do you want to do? I want to be an engineer. Wow. I want to be, uh, uh, I'm in the STEM program. I want to be something else. I, I like math. You know, so we started, you know, connecting. We're going to connect those kids with mentors. So uh, Manny made an announcement uh, today uh, to challenge everyone, everybody here to mentor a kid. Yeah. And so we had our, our booth and we were very surprised that about right away about 30 people showed up and they said, I want to be a mentor. They heeded that call. They, exactly, exactly. Wow. And, and what a way to give back. You know, we're just asking the kids, asking the mentors, hey, one, two hours a, 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 a month a week, whatever you want to work out, wow. you know, so um, they, they, you should have seen their eyes. Um, Must have been have like Christmas morning. Christmas morning for them. <laughs> Not only getting the device, but getting the access to information. Yes. And, and kids are hungry for information and somebody to look up to. And to have that information at their fingertips, I mean, what do you, what do you hope? Or what, what does um, Sprint hope or expect to happen now that they have in their possession these devices that what we're expecting them to do in Aspira is going to manage the program they have set some rules mm -hmm. and what we're expecting to the, them to do is to follow up with those mentors and learn the skills you know not yes. only the skills of uh, you know of the trade that they want to be in yes. but they they learn the skills of how to be a professional yes. you know etiquette all the stuff that, that they're missing, you know, because right, they right. cannot get, you know, but uh, um, it's it, it's a great opportunity for us. I mean, there's nothing better than giving back. Yes. I don't care. You know, you can show up to a convention and give money, but when you see those kids, that's it. So you're yeah. fostering, you, you all are fostering the next generation of Absolutely. entrepreneurs. Yeah. And, and, and we're hoping up. that this is a pilot program and that we can take it to the next level. And what a beautiful way to bring uh, the CEO story absolutely full circle, really. Yeah, absolutely. And to begin with, with not having a cell phone, mm -hmm. to actually being the one to in in 
with the power to hand out these cell phones, give out these cell phones yeah, to these kids. Yeah, and he challenged us, you know, yes. seek out opportunities, think out of the box. Yes. And that's what we did. And and we're very proud and honored to be part of it. And and really, Hispanic has provided that, you know, opportunity to, to get involved in what a better way. And what a beautiful privilege it is for Hispanic to be to be part of yeah, that yeah. to be part of that uh, initiative. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for thank sharing, you. sharing that story. Yeah. And please uh, let uh, let us know how uh, followers can can keep up with with the initiatives on social media. Yeah, social media. Uh, you can follow Sprint Latino on Instagram or or, or Twitter or Facebook. Uh, we're going to have those kids. Um, we're going to share some videos. One of the things that I forgot to tell you is those kids are going to go around the conference and interview mentors and oh. get some video and get some audio. And then we're going to be sharing that information with the public so they can see, you know, hey, there's a need. And there's, they don't, there's nothing that they can, you know, cannot accomplish, you know. So that's, that's absolutely that's exciting. Yeah, and and we look forward to seeing that. It's and, an honor. And to that effect, please be sure to also follow the hashtag Hispanicize15, H I S P Z15, so that you can watch part of the action unfold. Yeah, and, and uh, our hashtag is Sprint Mentor. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Follow yeah. Sprint Mentor and, and follow the Hispanicize hashtag so that yeah. we, can, we can feel that we are a part of this story. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. A I appreciate you. To you. All right.